Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I'm Sister B and welcome to Islamic Audio Bites. We'll be continuing our lessons from 30 Lessons for Those Who Fast, written by Aiz Abdullah Al-Qarni, which can be downloaded from galamullah.com. Let's read. Page 82. Lesson 17. The love of Allah becomes greater in Ramadan. Compliance with Allah's command to fast in the month of Ramadan increases the love of Allah in the heart of the one who fasts. The friends of Allah love him immensely. He loves them and they love him. There is nothing strange about Allah's expression. They love him. What is remarkable, however, is his affirmation that he loves them. He created them, sustained them, pardoned them, and then he loves them. There are ten signs that indicate love for Allah. Whoever does them has loved him in deed and not only in word. 1. To love the word that he speaks with and which he revealed to his Prophet, peace be upon him. To yearn to recite this word and reflect upon its meaning and enjoy closeness to it. To reform the heart with its teachings. Let the eyes roam in its gardens. Stay awake in the darkness of night with it. Act according to its dictates and govern with it in every affair of life. 2. To love the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Follow him and send much praise and blessings upon him. Belief in the Prophet, peace be upon him's goodness and acceptance of him as a model. Verily, in the Apostle of God, you have a good example for everyone who looks forward with hope and awe to God and the last day and remembers God unceasingly. Quran 33 verse 21 acting in accord with his traditions without any reservation, fear or wavering, is yet another way of demonstrating one's love for Allah. But nay, by the sustainer, they do not really believe unless they make thee, O Prophet, a judge of all on which they disagree among themselves and then find in their hearts no bar to an acceptance of thy decision and give themselves up to it in utter self-surrender. Quran 4 verse 65. 3. To jealously guard the limits set down by Allah and to deter any attempt of transgression against the boundaries of Allah, to feel angry when one of the rights of Islam are dishonored, to feel pain and anguish because of the condition of this religion among the people of innovation, to strive with heart, tongue and hand as much as possible to uplift Allah's law and establish his religion on earth. 4. To recognize the honor of being a friend of Allah and to strive earnestly to attain that friendship. Allah describes his friends thus, O oh, verily, they who are close to God, no fear need they have and neither shall they grieve. They who have attained to faith and have always been conscious of him. Quran 10 verse 62. And, behold, your only helper shall be God and his apostle and those who have attained to faith, those that are constant in prayer and render the purifying dues and bow down before God for all who ally themselves with God and his apostle and those who have attained to faith. Behold, it is they, the partisans of God, who shall be victorious. Quran 5 verse 55 to 6. 5. To enjoin the right and forbid the wrong and make every valuable sacrifice toward this end. It is the pivot of Islam, its fortification and shield by which it is protected. That they may grow out of you a community of people who invite all that is good and enjoin the doing of what is right and forbid the doing of what is wrong. And it is they, they, who shall attain to a happy state. Quran 3 verse 104 This feature is increased in brilliance during the month of Ramadan. The truthful fasters expend their energies in giving advice and calling the servants of Allah. As a result, they gain a great reward from the Lord Most High. 6. To sit with the righteous, love them and enjoy the pleasure of their company. Of the friends of Allah, to listen to their conversations 
and long to meet and visit them, to say prayers for them and protect their honour, to mention their good qualities and benefit as much as possible from them. For Allah says, All believers are but brethren. Quran 49 verse 10 And hold fast all together unto the bond with God and do not draw apart from one another. Quran 3 verse 103 7. To draw closer to Allah with voluntary acts of worship in order to gain the pleasure of Allah. This can be done through righteous acts like prayers, fasting, charity, pilgrimage, greater and lesser, recitation, remembrance, and other similar acts. Allah says, And verily, they would vie with one another in doing good works, and would call unto us in yearning and awe, and they were always humble before us. Quran 21 verse 90. He also says in a Hadith Qudsi, My servant continues to draw near to me with voluntary works so that I shall love him. 8. To prefer the eternity of the hereafter to the transience of this world and to prepare for the inevitable departure from this world and meeting with Allah Almighty. Prepare for what is inevitable as death is destined for the servants. Will you be pleased to be the companion of a people who have provisions and you have none? 9. Sincere repentance and abandonment of disobedience and infractions. Avoid the frivolous and playful from among the people of deviance and immorality. Sitting in their company always causes outbursts of anger, deadly poisoning and persistent disease. Allah says, On that day, as to our friends will be foes unto one another, all save the God conscious. Quran 43 verse 67. In this same regard, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, People will be raised on the day of judgment with those that they love. 10. To aspire to martyrdom in the way of Allah and look forward to that day when the soul will be presented solely for the sake of Allah, when the self, wealth, and sons would all be sold without seeking from this great sale any profitable arrangement. Behold, God has brought of the believers their lives and their possessions, promising them paradise in return, and so they fight in God's cause and slay and are slain. Quran 9 verse 111 O Allah, increase us in love for you, in desire for what is with you, and resort to you in repentance. Surely you have power over all things. Alhamdulillah, that was the end of today's lesson. Please do join us for tomorrow's lesson, inshallah. And at the same time, please do share the podcast with your family and friends and do leave us a review and rating wherever you listen. We are on all the major podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music, and we're also on YouTube as a voice only channel. Do check out our website at islamicaudiobytes.com and do join our community on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. If you'd like to contact us directly, please do so at sisterb007 at gmail.com. As always, hope our days are full of goodness. Assalamu alaikum.